Right here we have our normal layer open. Anytime when you want to go back in camera raw to adjust, you always can go to filter and select camera raw filter so you can adjust your image. The also, this is original size, the maximum that we can create it. And uh, it's not point, no point for me to convert to smart object at this right now moment. When I will start resizing, then I want more convert to smart object. And all techniques, what we're going to do, it will be additional layers and we won't really affecting any layer below. So we will, it's kind of non-destructive way to do. Okay, so let's go ahead. First, what I want to do, it is a duplicate this layer. You can do this by pressing Ctrl or Command J or take an image and drag to the new layer. So we'll go create a new one. This is will be our masking or main layer. And sometimes because I will use the pen tool, I like to keep it my background image. On case, if I forget to clip out or something going off, I still see my image below. So right now we'll first we'll go use the pen tool and we will use a combination of the pen tool and the raster or color selection. In this case, we will have it a better selection. Example, right here we have a hair. But if you look on an image, you still have a little bit gradient on the background. So if I use it by magic wand or select by color, I need worried about too many areas. However, if I'm just using pen tool and go around the model with the hard edges with a pen tool to isolate it, your her from background and just leave it this area off. And I'll show in a second. In this case, when I will try isolate hair, I just need to worry only about these zones. Okay, so we'll go begin right here from the hair. Normally, I just start with a pen tool, drag, and you see we have these handles. The easiest way to do it, you can follow the curve slightly. So we'll follow the curve. We'll just slightly follow the curve. And you see now curve following the model. Again, so we'll click, extend handles, and you just follow the line. And we also need to watch so we don't have a too much of the um, of cut. And one thing you want to kind of like almost one pixel inside the model. So you don't need to do outside. I um, use a different selections, but found that pen tool work one of the most cleanest selection giving to me. I always can come back to fix if I need it. But also, um, it's provide a very sharp edge, easy to put it in. And of course, you can very easy steps. So I'll show you after how we can add edge blur if you want to add anti aliasing or other element. Okay. So I'm going to pause this tutorial and um, go over with the pen tool. And when I'm complete my kind of masking around, I will resume this tutorial. Okay, so we come around here a little bit. We still have it some areas inside, but notice right here we have it come to her hair. So at this point, I don't want to touch hair, but I'm just going a little bit close as I can to the hair, not too, too close. Okay, and we'll just go right here and going to select around this. Okay, we can also use pen in this area, but this is close enough for the color, so I think we will be good. Okay, we'll go right here and as well, maybe just a little bit right around the area to minimize yeah, here. and again you don't necessarily need to do all the small details OK, 
Yeah, look very rough. Kind of going around chain. There you go. Okay, so we kind of done this. Next, what we want to do is so right click and says create a vector mask. So at this point, we can hide our background. And you notice we have um, kind of model with only right this area. We need worried about hair. Our background background is kind of grayish, and I do like um, have a gray background um, due to the no contaminations on the color and light, so it's very neutral. However, with her gray um, dress, that can be confusing for the some selection tools. So the reason why I bring sometimes closer, we may need to touch up a little bit more right run this area okay so for example i think right here just slightly off so we can go ahead and select this tool just also maybe readjust slightly to get closer and we can kind of readjusting um, we could also go ahead and going all the way up to chin but I probably will leave it and mask after with a pen, so we'll do that way. Okay, um, let's go next step will be to go select color range, and I want to select this area right here. We can also come closer, and if you can see, we still have it gray. Um, just hold down shift key and click so we can select all of those extra noise but I think it's look actually good okay, let's see right around this area okay let's go right here okay let's go ahead click OK zoom out and this point we can go ahead and create a masking layer we'll invert control I I forgot to hold down alt key um, so right here you'll notice the hair is look nice. We can touch a couple things, but we still need it right fix at this area. And this is not that hard to do. So first let's go touch up slightly edges of the hair. And we can do this with the select and refine mask. So on the refine mask, we'll just set smart filter, smart radius. And we can go just around the hair and you can see it's slightly fixing some of those hair make nicer blend mostly I want to do right in around this area a little bit around here so just touch up a couple areas make it a little bit more refined okay. actually I don't need this last one I want to touch up slightly right these edges So that will be a little bit more refined and softer look. Okay, same right here. I see this a little bit darker, so we'll just fix small touches right here. Okay, and on the back of the hair, let's go just around slightly. And you can see it removes some of those gray colors, so we have it. A bit better looking. Okay, when we're done, let's go ahead, click OK. Um, we still have a problem right here, and it's actually very easy to resolve. If we go ahead and hold down Alt key and click on a mask, now we can see all mask in this area. So all what we need to do is take our brush, be sure it's hard edge. Okay, we'll go to set this to the white. 100% and all what I need to do is just start painting I can just take it and paint 
out remember right here we have our mask so i'm come closer afterwards right now i'm just only worried about these big shapes okay okay let's look good okay let's come closer and all what i want to do is just go around this area And we can take brush slightly down and just touch up a little bit. Okay. And we can also go and around her shoulder, which is actually come up very good. So let's pick up very good color here and inside the face. So right here, if you don't remember, we can always click Alt again and you can see, okay, so right here is her forehead. So we can actually want to go ahead and maybe painting some areas. Oops. I got a little bit over right there. We'll click again. And right here is the jewelry, so we want bring this jewelry back in okay i think this is a nice clean mask Let's go click again and you can see we have a nice hair preservation we only need worried about the, these small areas of the hair so we don't need to worry about all image but same time we have a very sharp very nice edges on our mask and it's present a little bit more accurate. So let's go ahead and then next portions we'll start more work on the metal. 